Hey guys, welcome back to Moe's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look at Men of War, Solitaire Tactical Book War Game, Module 2, Indochina, 1946 to 1954, the French Foreign Legion. This is a game designed by Joe Fernandez and is published by Art of War Games. You recall several months ago I had done coverage on the first book in the series, Module 1, which was the Rhodesian Bush War. Well, this is Module 2 now. It is out and available. And this one concentrates on the French Foreign Legion as we see at the top. It says the Indochina region 1946 to 1954, which ends with the French pullout from Vietnam, which eventually did lead to the United States involvement in Vietnam. But this is going to be dealing with only the French Foreign Legion, just like the last one dealing with all Rhodesian units. So let's take a look at the back of the book and see what this game is all about. Men of War, French Indochina, French Foreign Legion is Module 2, standalone solitaire tactical book war game designed to recreate modern, low-intensity conflicts at the tactical level. Men of War is an infantry-centric, old-school hex encounter war game system that mimics the nuances of modern small unit leadership, fire and maneuver, primarily team and squad-based formations. In the second installment of the series, Indochina, 1946-1954, French Foreign Legion. The player controls units from the famed French Foreign Legion, fighting under the French flag to maintain a fragile foothold in a post-World War II Indochina. Fighting the disciplined communist Viet Minh guerrilla cadre, French units must navigate and engage insurgents through difficult terrain in a new type of war. The game scale is at the tactical level, with each hex grid representing approximately 40 meters, turns representing a few minutes, and units representing teams of three to five soldiers. A dynamic and aggressive enemy artificial intelligence bot keeps players guessing enemy disposition on every turn. And we have the features, solitary small unit tactical gameplay, unique hexagonal maps depicting jungle terrain linked for larger scenarios, 10 historically inspired missions, support weapons include light machine guns, grenades, flamethrowers, and booby traps, easy to learn six page rulebook, deep tactical gameplay, a dynamic and aggressive AI bot enemy system keeps you guessing every turn, it's portable. All you need is this book, a D10, a D6 dice, or smartphone dice app, and a marker. Inside the book, you get a six-page rulebook, two player aids, 11 mission sheets, 10 mission cards, 84 half-inch unit and weapons counters, 94 status markers, and two sets of four maps. There are also free downloads for the game at Board Game Geek. And there is the first game forward together, Rhodesian Bush War, which we've already looked at on the channel, and that's what I was talking about before the first module in the series. And the first thing I'm noticing between the two, this game here had a 25 meter per hex scale. This is now 40 meters a hex. So that is the first change that I notice. And we have our units, good order units, half strength units, leaders. If you've seen the example of play I did with the Rhodesian Bush War, you'll understand all this. This is very simple and straightforward to understand. You have your good order units and then you have units that are half strength and that's what you are going to do when you get hit you're going to be half strength mission sheet mission cards so that way you can play either in the book or you can play using counters and maps which you can download from board game geek and that's the way i definitely recommend doing so because doing it in the book's great if you don't have the the space to play with a hex encounter game not that this takes up a lot of space but if you're traveling and all you have access to is the book itself it's a great way to play. Just get some, uh, like a sheet of acetate, so that way you can just slide it over the page and you can write with a dry erase marker on it, and you don't damage the book at all. You can just keep reusing it. Then we have the action points, actions, squad weapons and grenades, satchel charges, flamethrowers, light machine guns, booby traps. Then we have the bot activation. The bot is gonna handle the Viet Minh units. You're gonna have your regular Viet Minh units. You're gonna have leaders. Then we have unknown markers, so that way when there is an unknown unit out there that you haven't determined what it is yet, those will be out, used out there. Then we have terrain and line of sight explained to you, combat, melee, rally check, radio communications, fire support, and then that's it for the rules. That's all there is. And then we have an example of line of sight over here. And then we have a write-up, Battalion of the Damned. Then we get to the player aid. There's your counter sheet which you can get from Board Game Geek. You don't have to cut out of the book or scan. You can still do that if you'd like to. Then we get into our missions. Mission one, 
Kepi Blanc. Mission two, Green Hell. Mission three, Etro Pret. Mission four, Legio Patria Nostra, which is the Legion's motto. Nuit de Bayonet, Knight of the Bayonets. Tax Collector. Skull and Bones. Kof's Jagger, Headhunters. Wagenmuller's Rhapsody, Operation Triangle. And then we get into the mission sheets. I have my sequence of play and the maps that I made here. This way I left them in a the book so I can show them to you. I print these out from the downloads and then I create my own little sequence of play. That way I can just use that instead of tearing up the book. And then these sheets are all going to be the same here. They're the ones you use for your missions. There's your maps. The other one, another one, and... Two sets of maps. And we have our player aid, which is what you're going to be using to keep track of the terrain, sequence of play, your enemy posture, fire support, and unknown markers. And then we are at the back of the book. So if you are looking for a pretty straightforward, simple to get into tactical war game that only has six pages of rules, but does have really interesting gameplay, check out the Men of War series, either the Rhodesian Bush War or now this new one, French Foreign Legion in Indochina. You're not going to go wrong because these are not expensive. I think they're only like $20. The counters you can make off of the files from BGG, or you can play it straight out of the book if you don't want to make your own hex and counter stuff. If you're not crafty, you don't have to, but I definitely prefer that over writing in the book that definitely will make me feel more involved is when I'm pushing counters around, then I'm definitely more invested in the game. But I really enjoyed Rhodesian Bush War, and I'm looking forward to getting this one on the table too and checking it out. I already have stuff all ready to go. I just need to get some time to sit down and play it. Like I said, check out the first game in the series, the Rhodesian Bush War, which is on the channel. I also did a playthrough, which will give you an idea of how the game plays and how straightforward it is to get into. It's not difficult at all to play. And this way you'll know what the system encompasses. And now Module 2 is out for Indochina for the French Foreign Legion. Well, I hope that helps you guys out if you've been curious about this one. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.